play on cities and a crowd of folk met and they were going to play the game what we we thought was going to happen is that for media people to have access to the game you get just go show your gfa card but then Lagos Cities came out with a statement that they have limited slots and so they are giving special accreditation. We saw that in the game involving Dreams FC and Kumasiya Santikot. The first game, they did same. In the game involving Accra to Fouca and Kumasiya Santikot, they did same. This thing about clubs having to issue special accreditation to media, you know, uh, uh, media, media, the media, because of certain category of games making, in, I mean, nonsense of gfa card that has been issued to media personnel is this something that has come to your attention and what do you well, intend to do about well, it? well um on so on 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 was it on saturday the mm -hmm. cities had yeah. yes on saturday yeah so on saturday i received tons of calls from from media colleagues mm -hmm. that they they are stranded at the Elwak stadium mm -hmm. um upon reaching the um, legon cities then made it known to them that they they needed a special accreditation to assess the venue. Mm. Um, I wasn't in the known. Mm. Um, I, I, my office wasn't informed okay. of any special accreditation for the competition. We had communicated that um, bearers of the GFA um, card mm. would be granted access mm. to the various league centers. So I spoke to, I called, first of all, I, I reached out to the communications manager of Legon Cities, okay. Mr. Kwame Jumwajiman. Yeah. Um, I couldn't get him, mm. so I called the CEO, um, Terry Idam, okay. and then I spoke to him. Mm. And then I called, I think, operations manager, um, mm. and I also spoke to him. Then I, I informed my boss, mm. uh, Prosper Harris Senado. So, because we did not have any clue okay. whatsoever, we then told the club mm. to um, um, do away with their special accreditation, whatever, mm. and grant access to those who had the gfa card okay i think they initially initially what i was told was that the military mm. had given them only a small space mm. or a limited space for the media okay um and I, I i made it known to them that you cannot block access mm. to such a game mm. such a big game especially when we are not working with any quota mm. in the past we were working with a quota because yeah. of the 25 25 percent so if today it's been open, open to and everybody. that and that has been um, 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 how do you call it relaxed mm. by the government. Mm. You cannot limit access. Mm. So we spoke at length. Mm. Then they they agreed. So mm. later, I I had I received calls okay. from the people who called earlier mm. that oh the matter has been resolved, has been resolved. and they've been granted access. Mm. In the it was the first round of the league. Mm. Um, yes, I was I was called, mm. but because. Um, as at that time we were working with 25 percent okay when clubs breach that 25 percent protocol mm. they are always fined or punished by the fa okay and they did not at the time mm. want to breach those regulations or directives from the fa mm. and it was the reason why they did special accreditation for for the matches now how to focus on Kotoko. as at the time we met on wednesday mm. the wednesday before the, the game, game sunday we still have 25 percent in mind mm. even though we were in talks with the government COVID 19 mm. response team mm. and uh and and the ministry of youth and sports yeah that approval had not come okay we did not want to work with the mindset of um um, um opening it up mm. and then if the approval is not given mm. we will find ourselves in a very um, um, um difficult situation so in that stakeholders meeting mm. Um, the home team, which mm. was Hearts of Folk, were mm. informed to issue um, 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 special accreditation. Mm. Um, so that was on Wednesday. Okay. The deadline was close of business Thursday. Mm. As of Friday afternoon, okay. around 4 p.m., mm. that was when government finally mm. decided to relax the restrictions. Okay. But the communication had already gone out. Okay. So I personally went to the stadium very early on Sunday, mm. first of all for pre-match. Mm. Immediately after the pre-match, I called uh, Kwame Opariado mm. and uh, Mr. Amofa, mm. Amofa NSA Opariado had to follow. Okay. And we had a five minute meeting, brief meeting. Mm. And my directive was that as the competition organizer, mm. I take ultimate responsibility when things don't go well. Mm. So I recommend mm that we do away with that special accreditation okay 
and grant access to people mm. who can get to the gate show their station id mm. and show the gfa id mm. and it happened in the presence of the policemen who were detailed at the media entrance okay so as soon as we we reached that consensus mm. i left the scene okay and went to continue with my other responsibilities okay i needed to work on the vip area mm. presidential area and mm. other things I needed to make sure that the media area is safe mm. for you and i who work in the media area on that day yeah unfortunately mm. certain things happened and i was not even in the known until monday morning wow that media men were even heckled mm. assaulted mm. by police and military men who were at the gates mm. i did not know nobody drew my attention to that incident mm. because before the game mm. i had met lots of them mm. we had normal conversations mm. it was only sadiq adams mm. of angel uh, angel uh, fm, FM mm. who told me that charlie the gate looks messy mm. there is a heat there is a clash between the that's police. the media gate yes the police and the the military mm. that even i had to take the sports minister to come out of his car mm. to now direct the need uh, the the military the, the security men mm. as to what to do to manage the crowd i said wow so what was the problem but the problem was that people were rushing into the stadium mm. one hour to the game okay so there was pressure so at there the was gate. pressure at the gate okay but i have always told colleague media men mm that the best way to enjoy mm. that stadium especially on such a big day mm. is to get to the stadium early early get to the stadium at 12 30 mm. one o'clock mm. when you get to the stadium anytime after two mm. there is always pressure mm. Mm. because people who had closed from church yeah had left their homes late mm. and they think they can and most of these people are the politicians mm. those with complimentary cars mm. and when they get to the gate mm. they they want to enter at all costs mm. So there was pressure at the gate mm. so it had nothing to do with you holding a media card okay. or showing face mm. or being holding a complimentary card mm. even the ministers who mm. came to watch the game struggled mm. at the gate mm. Mm. it was unfortunate mm. so maybe going forward mm. with the help of swag mm. we need to now sensitize people about stadium entry okay and what time is best to enter the stadium okay i was at the stadium as early as 8 a.m mm. and left as late as 9 p.m. or thereabout, mm. mm. you know, mm. just come early. Mm. I met George Ado around 12. Mm. I met Sungo around 1:15. A lot of them, most of them came in, but the problem is that because our state, the, our various stadia mm. lack stencils mm. and electronic ticketing mm -hmm. in Europe. Mm. I went to watch AC Milan Barcelona. I got there one hour to the game. I show I just showed my 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 ticket mm. to the stencil. It is scanned. Mm. You enter, you go and sit down. Mm. But here, you even have to go and queue mm. to buy the ticket. Yeah. Because the NSA, when we decided to do electronic tickets, the mm. NSA uh, opposed the decision mm. and said they don't believe in the they don't uh, believe in it yes 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 I mean, they, don't, they don't believe in it so. yes 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 uh, professor chumesi said he, he wouldn't accept the e-tickets i remember last season mm. during the fa cup mm. we used e-ticket mm. through the mtn momo platform mm -hmm. and it was successful in cape coast mm. you know we played two the semi-final games chelsea ash gold yeah and then Midiama has of oak yeah both games were played in cape coast yeah on the same day mm. it was smooth you get you just get to the gate mm. When you pay, mm -hmm. you'll be given a code. Yes. So when you get to the, the gate and mm -hmm. you mention your code, mm -hmm. there is one, there is a, a, a lady at the gate mm -hmm. who will key, key in your code. Mm -hmm. And voila. So why would the National Source Authority be reluctant to adopt in such a such an innovation? Why, why because they the FA prints the ticket mm -hmm. and on the day, the NSA has an input, functional, they, they call it functional statement. Okay. Um, they also spend on the game and then uh, you know every every game you play you mm. you pay a certain percentage yes. of the gate proceeds yes. to the NSA. Yes. I don't know what they thought mm. anyway. But um I have also had the vice president speak to this particular yes. issue and he mentioned talk about digitizing the, the ticketing, the for, ticketing football. for football matches will be digitized. Mm. So begin, beginning from the Ghana versus Nigeria. Right. So so what you're telling us that as far as 
because now the COVID rules have been relaxed yeah. and you're explaining that the reason why some of these special accreditation was yeah, put together it was because, was because of, it was because of um, so from hence from hence yeah. you can access the stadium with, with the, your GFA with the, with the, if you have the GFA mm. um, approved accreditation mm. for competitions mm. we didn't limit it to only the league yes but for all GFA competitions mm. division one Premier mm. women's premier, mm. you cannot send them. So we should not, we should not hear any club say, okay, special accreditation. No. In the event we hear that, what should we do? No, it will not even happen because mm. we have sent a directive to the clubs. 